IBMS. What you're seeing here is the desktop application of IBMS, the AI Dash's intelligent wedge management system. So let me first log in using an operation coordinator's ID. And what you'll see here is that what loads up is a satellite based map uh, of an area and the white lines that you see here are the distribution network in this particular area. What we're going to do is we're going to zoom into an area of interest uh, to see how this works. The first thing that we're going to do is apply a bunch of enhancements to the map. This is, this is being done by some of our algorithms in the background. And as you can see, the image in is now much clearer for our area of interest than what it was earlier. The first thing that we're going to do is we can take satellite images of at multiple points of times and we're going to see how uh, the vegetation of one of the older years looks like. So we take the satellite image, use our AI models to identify the vegetation from it and that is what you see in the blue here. Similarly, we can see what the vegetation in 2020 looks like for this area. And as you can see, it's grown by a lot in the three years. We next combine this information along with a host of other informations to determine what the growth rate is of vegetation at each individual span level. So the growth rate at one at a span here might be different from a span here, and that is what we that is what we get to. And using this and a bunch of other information around. Uh, the past outages, customers, etc. What we can do is classify each span into the into the year in which it should be trimmed. So what I'm adding here is, and let me just clear out the vegetation to make this clearer. What I'm adding here is that for each particular span in this area, we have been able to tell in which year should this span be trimmed. There are some that you see in red. So let me also open the legend here there are some that you see in red that need immediate attention and need to be trimmed now as opposed to the ones in green that can be that can be trimmed three years later or those in white which have no vegetation around them and don't need any trimming at all now this is a superior approach to uh, to a traditional one where a person would have just asked a personal to trim an entire feeder in a particular year but here what we are saying is you can choose those bits and pieces those spans of your feeder that need trimming now as opposed to those which can wait for a couple of years let me just remove some of the other information to show you exactly which spans need to be trimmed in this per in this particular year and the other thing that we can do now with this tool is we can overlay this with information around hazard trees so you can combine this information to take a holistic to take a holistic view of things and we can keep adding more information here we can also see the same information in this view if that is what one is, wants to do but let me just go back to our map for a second and focus again on those spans which need to be trimmed in a particular year what we can also do is look at the information for a bunch of information for each span and then go and operationalize this so this is that span where in in a detailed view where i can see when was the span last trimmed when does it need to be trimmed next what is the action to be taken how much will it cost and what is the criticality of doing this and once an oc decides that he needs to create a trim cycle out of this for this particular for a the current year what he can do is operationalize it immediately by assigning it to a field personnel so let's say we go and assign it to a brian mckill submit and that's it it's as simple as this it gets the brian mcgill gets a notification on his phone telling him that a trim has been assigned to him and he will have this information in his mobile application